Good day everyone. everyone and welcome to day 12 of the Bailey's Do Disney Orlando series vlog. Today on day 12 we're going to be going to SeaWorld. SeaWorld sea and then in the evening Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. We're just here at the minute at First Watch so we're going to grab some breakfast from First Watch. We've heard some good things about it. And, and I'm going to tell you how this is on my shoulder. Oh your pork? Yeah. You're going to tell them? Yeah. Okay, go on then. She bought a pork the other day, and this house. Yeah, house. Um, it's a magnet um, here, and it's all, and it's a magnet in his bum. Uh, it is true. It's a magnet in his bum. He's got a magnet in his bum, and there's a magnet plate, and it goes under the shoulder, and it sits on her shoulder. It's so good. Hey, let's go for breakfast. Woo! Here we are, at first watch. As you can see, it is really miserable today. It's been raining, but apparently this is supposed to clear up by 11. So hopefully, when we get to SeaWorld, all this. It's we'll be gone. Let's get in there. Let's get some breakfast. I can see coffee on the table. Straight up facts right there. You guys having fun? Yes. So we've ordered food. We've ordered food. We're just waiting on it now. So yeah, excited for food? Finally decided what he wanted. Yeah, it took me a while, but yeah. He kept on talking. He was talking. <laughs> what? Food's it. I went for like a breakfast taco thing. I don't even know what it is, but it looks amazing. Paige went for a pancake that's bigger than her head with bacon and butter on it, which looks amazing. Me and Sarah went for some French toast to share. Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict for Sarah. And then Callum got the traditional breakfast, which he doesn't want potatoes. So I'm going to well, eat the potatoes. I'm going to eat the potatoes. I just don't want the egg. Huh? I don't want the egg. Ten minutes ago, he didn't want the potatoes, but wanted the egg. And now he doesn't want the egg or the potatoes. Yeah. Hey, I'm having it all. Pass it in. So overall, that food, guys. So good. Good. Especially yours. <laughs> yeah, so so for me, I would never ever in a million years get tacos or any sort of Mexican breakfast because I'm not a massive I was it's just not me, is it? No, it's not. But that I thought, you know what, stop being boring, Mike, and get something different. And that was <laughs> amazing. It was so good. You you had a bit as well. You loved it. Yeah. Probably not as I much as I was very sad like. that you didn't give me his last bite. I, I, I gave you two bites. I Your gave egg... you my whole potatoes. <laughs> yeah, the eggs, but yeah, potatoes for tacos doesn't really. Potato for taco. Um, <laughs> Callum had the traditional, which you liked, didn't you? Yes. Paige's pancake good. was huge and tasted amazing. The French toast was amazing. Yeah, Woo! French toast was good. Oh, and a pork. Pork, pork. But yeah, overall, another one of those I glad we're eating off site. Um, yeah, nine, I nine. I'd say 9.5. As for the tacos, they were a solid 9.5 for me. So yeah. Very highly recommend first watch. Hello. That is us parked up at SeaWorld now. Uh, it looks very, very quiet. It looks so, well, I'm comparing it to like Disney and Universal for that. We've been told the queuing's less on the rides, been told it's just more of a, a chill day. So yeah, we've just parked up. So we got this package, Black Friday deal. Was it with Florida Ticks or attraction tickets, sir? Uh, Florida Ticks. Florida Ticks. Um, it was a Black Friday deal and we got the Discovery Cove Dolphin Swim package. And with that, you got SeaWorld and Busch Gardens. Um, I don't know if you got anything else, but definitely those two. So free admission, as well as free parking. So when we got to the desk there, or to the gate, and we got the parking, we said, oh, we got free parking? And she she, asked, she like looked confused. I gave her the paperwork. She, she'd never seen it, basically, and was like, are you sure? And then she read it, and she's like, oh, yeah. So free parking as well, which I think is pretty cool, because it's meant to be. You know you're not, you're not a Discovery Cove, don't you? Yeah, she because it was Discovery Cove, obviously. Well, yeah, yeah, we know that, but it also lets in here. Um, which was supposed to be $35 for parking. That was right, wasn't it? So it was quite expensive. Uh, so glad we got that free. We're gonna go in now. Callum's looking forward to riding the rides. I'm gonna try to ride every single one if I can. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully you can. I wanna try and get on a sick. couple. Yeah, I wanna try and get on a couple. Um, Especially Mako. Yeah.
Last time we were here, the food wasn't that great, was it? We went so, to Taco Bell outside. We yeah, but um, <laughs> also another thing to note that if you are coming here, there's no paper maps. It's all on the phone. Some people will call with that. I don't really like technology and like phone <laughs> trying to get he on the phone. No, no, I know, no, it's different. I don't, I don't know what it is. Even putting the filter on, it seems really good. The the app on the phone with the map, but it's just not for me. I like a traditional paper. Like paper map, yeah. yeah. If you do want a paper map before you come into the park. It's the only place you can get a paper map. So grab one there before you come in. I don't know why that is, but that's just how they do it. But yeah, it looks amazing here. This is all changed since we were last here. Also worth noting that when we came into the park, um, there's a big sign that says no food, drinks, beverages, etc. to be taken into the park, which is obviously completely different to Universal and uh, Disney. So I said to the woman, are we allowed to take in drinks or is that, is that and she was like, um, uh, how much have you got? I was like, like a bottle? I lied, we obviously had about four or five bottles. And she's like, yeah, just walk on through. And we didn't get bag search, luckily. So I did. Um, you did, but you didn't have the drinks. So uh, yeah, oh, Dippin' Dots. I need your Stitch shirts. They're awesome, aren't they? I need your shirts. They're so cool. So a lady started speaking to us about our tops, which has gone down really well, these tops, haven't they? Everyone sort of mentioned them. They were taking food and drinks off people coming into the park, so just that I didn't know that. He is massive, isn't he? So here you go. What I was saying earlier, we've gone digital. So there are maps scattered about uh, in various places around the park, and there are like there are signs everywhere that like points in direction of what you're looking for. So yeah, Mummy and Callum have gone on Mako, and me and Paige are having to walk around, aren't we? Uh, this is, so the prices for the all day dining, which is one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage, and a side, child is $24.99, and adult is $49.99, um, as often as 90 minutes. So we did actually look at doing that when we went to Bush Gardens, but I think we opted out of doing it. Um, it did seem like it would be good though, but yeah, I don't know if, if for me, I don't know if I, I'd eat enough because, but then saying that, I eat loads. I think, oh, I haven't got an appetite, but I still eat, so it's a bit of a silly one. Isn't it? You, yeah. You're the same as me, you only eat occasionally, don't you? Yeah. Have a look. Oh, Daddy, there's sharks in there! Is it sharks or is it yeah. dolphins? It's a dolphin. Paige, look! Paige! It's a dolphin. Look to your right! It's a dolphin! Is it? It's a dolphin! <gasps> there's, there's two of them! Yeah! Oh, wow! Oh, amazing. Is that cool? Yeah. So, Porgy's just chilling out there. Yeah. As if he sticks to the table. Whoop. Um, so yeah, just went to uh, customer services about the ride, it's called the Ride Access Accessibility Program. Um, so obviously it's DAS in, in Disney and in Universal it's called something else. But this is a very similar si uh, system to the one at Universal. So basically you go to your ride, if it's more than a 20 minute wait, they'll tell you to come back. And then uh, yeah, that, that they'll tell you to come back at a certain time. So it seems very similar to Universal. Um, at the minute, they all do a good job of, of what they're doing, but I think Disney have definitely got, with the app and the way it works, I think they've definitely, I wouldn't even say one step ahead, I would say about 10 steps ahead of everywhere else. Uh, we also, when we were there, they gave us a map. So yeah, they gave us a map. They said that oh, we shouldn't really give these out, and I was like, can we just have one, please? Just This is something that I, yeah, I prefer. And actually looking at this now, it makes a lot more sense, trying to zoom in on that map, and then, yeah. Why about the people see it? Pardon? Oh, what if these people see it here? Haha. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, they don't care. Um, but yeah, we just uh, we've got that. So that access accessibility program, exactly the same as Universal, really efficient, um, seems to work. So we're going to go now. We're going to go and see if Mummy and Callum are finished on Mako, and then there's a Shamu show, the Orca show, at 12 o'clock. We're going to go and see some animals as well. Should we go and see yeah. the penguins in a bit? Yeah. Let's do it. So I should know that when you go to customer services and they ask who the, um, the, the pass is for, 
you then tell them and then they will ask they won't go too much they won't say oh what is the condition or what they'll just ask what what she can't do or what they can't do and um for, for Paige obviously it's just um standing in queues for a prolonged period of time that's not something she can do and then another thing was the overstimulation like I was saying that with too much noise going on yeah it's it just yeah it doesn't work so that's they assess it accordingly with each person so it's not on a oh everyone gets the same thing it's, it's what that person needs um, they also did tell me there's two quiet rooms in the park which is cool there's one in Sesame Street land and there's one near guest guest services guest services I'm having a nightmare today um, so yeah that's worth uh, noting because if, it, if your child or even adult if they're having a meltdown and they just don't can't deal with things then yeah there's two quiet rooms which is I think really good uh, you okay? Yeah. Chevron Pork. Woo! So we just made the Orca show. I don't want to get too political, but yeah, comment down below what your opinions are on the Orca show, because I'm I'm very much yeah I don't know I, I've got a bit of a mixed opinion on it personally. I love what Sea will do, but at the same time, yeah, I don't want to get too political on it, but yeah. Um, as far as the show goes though, it has changed an awful lot, hasn't it? An awful lot since we were last here. There's no trainers in the water anymore, there's no show like stunts and stuff like that. It's very much, they're swimming around, a couple of flips, soaking the crowd and it's still good to watch, it was still entertaining, but it wasn't as they're not like ponies, like trick ponies anymore. They don't get treated like that, which is potentially what you would have thought last time, but yeah. What's your thoughts on the uh, the Orca encounter? The way it's changed, the way it was, the whole thing. I'll just I'll be interested to know what everyone's uh, opinion on the situation is. We're gonna go and get some dipping dots now. So the flavors: cookies and cream. You got cookies and cream, Paige. Ultimate brownie, rainbow, banana, cookie dough, or cotton candy. Cotton candy. So that was manic, wasn't it, Paige? Yeah. We literally went for dipping dots and got stuck behind a, a whole fifth grade class and we were there for about half an hour but we've got the goods now we've got cookie dough cotton candy aka candy floss and cookies and cream what's it like good good camera not very good you don't like it do you come on no. dipping dots what are we giving them out of ten? Ten. 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 yeah that's it I would say nine because they're not like they're homemade it's like factory they are good aren't they? my favorite was cookie and cream your two favorite was cookie dough yeah what was your favorite page what, what one your one uh, I didn't try any. oh did she not okay no, she but else. she liked hers yeah so it was about eleven dollars for one cup though so Which maybe a bit expensive. yeah I think it's quite expensive but, but yeah but we had to get three because we wanted it but we had to get three because we wanted three different flavors so yeah it's a snack it was nice so don't regret it. Nice and refreshing, actually. I'm taking Paige to Sesame Street Land while Daddy's gone on Mako with Callum. I did Mako with Callum and whew, probably the best ride I think I've ever done. However, my heart was in my absolute chest going up. You excited, baby? Yeah. So me and Callum have just been on a Mako, one of the worst experiences of my life. That was horrendous. Genuinely, honestly, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to survive it. We've just met Sarah in Sesame Street Land with Paige, and she says, parade. "Yeah, the parade's starting in a bit, but I think that's going to be." So basically, Paige just said she wants to leave because it's too babyish for her. It is, it, yeah, you don't like this, do you? The roller coaster's down as well. There's a little roller coaster for young kids, but apparently that's down. So there's three or four that are down on the. Um, on the park today so it doesn't really matter there's enough for the older ones but yeah not, maybe not too much for the little ones but they've got the animals and the penguins so that'll keep us entertained so we're going to be going on empire of the penguin this is the one that's changed the band this frozen beach of dark and snow a gentle colony huddles together for warmth community Oh, look, 
Oh, you splashed me! <laughs> Did you see that? Maybe it's that one there. I think he's the one about to jump in now, maybe. So we've just done the penguin encounter. Um, it's not a penguin encounter, but it's yeah, it used to have a different name, but they've changed the name. What do you, what's your thoughts, sir? Um, I love seeing the penguins, but I'm yeah. really sad that the ride is no longer. Yeah, it's changed completely. Uh, I love seeing the penguins. There's no, yeah, it was still amazing. It was really good seeing the penguins. They splashed me. Uh, yeah, Paige was really cold, but she wanted to stay in. Yeah, but yeah, the ride you used to sit in it and you used to go around and look for them through the window. There's none of that now. You just literally walk for a little bit and go into the main bit. Still good, just I don't understand it. But hey, it is what it is. Callum's just gone on Icebreaker, so he's going to meet us here in a minute. And then we're going to go on, what's this called, sir? Journey to Atlantis. Atlantis. So hopefully, because she wouldn't go on Splash Mountain the other day, hopefully if she likes this, we can get her on Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, fingers crossed. Paige, are you excited for this one? She's looking for lizards. She's looking under here for lizards. Probably so she can bring them home for our next door neighbour. <laughs> um, He just went on journey to Atlantis. She says it's the most scariest ride she's been on. Are you proud of yourself? No. Not not proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. You don't ever want to do that again? Yeah. So, journey to Atlantis. She wasn't a fan of at all. Um, it's pretty pretty good though. It's like Splash Mountain to start with, and then it goes around again, and then it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> So we've just done the uh, dolphin show, which was really good. Did you enjoy the dolphin show? Yeah. And then from there, what did we go and do? Um, I got this. You went and teddy. bought a new teddy, didn't you? Yeah. Because Paige loves teddies. Show everyone your teddy. Don't know if you just heard that, but due to apparently there's a storm coming. We recommend enjoying one of our aquariums. Wow. I Let's go, let's go and get your poncho. We're going into a restaurant now, luckily. It just said due to um, a storm basically approaching right now, all outdoor attractions, shows, etc., are closed. We recommend seeking shelter immediately. So, yeah, and it does. I was about to say, actually, the weather looks horrendous. It's been overcast. It looks like there's a massive storm incoming, which it clearly is. Um, but yeah, Paige just went and bought um, a new teddy. The dolphin show was amazing. And now we're about to go and. You want another teddy? Yeah. I think we've got enough teddies for now, haven't we? We're not going to have enough space in our suitcase for all these teddies. Um, I don't care. Do you think I care? No. Sassy pants. Yeah, we're going for um, dinner now in the uh, shark restaurant, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, I think that's the best place to take cover. Let's go in. Should we go in, get dinner while... Uh, no, quick, run! Well, I can't run. I'm too old. No, you're not. You said to run in a second time. Come on! Go, let's seek shelter. Hi, I believe we, my, wa my wife and son are in here. It's oh, baby. yeah, they just walked in. Yeah. Thank you. She didn't know we were coming to her place. Yet. Thank you. We need to be underwater now. How I know. You hold your breath. You don't need to hold your breath. How, how are you underwater? And he's about, he's just out now. Food in, I keep calling it the shark restaurant, but should we just stick with that? Shark garden grill? Shark underwater grill. Underwater, so there's no garden. Shark underwater grill. We, me and Sarah went for the sliders. They look good. They're just mini burgers, but yeah, we're calling sliders because we're in America. They got fries. What's this? Coconut crusted chicken. Wow, that looks incredible. Callum Page went for the hot dog and chips yeah. and pork and Pongo. I just watched him Page eat. And now I'm going to go my And I'm going to This place is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, 
chicken, 10. The sliders, 8.5. Overall, the meal, I'd give a 9 out of 10. I agree. Yeah? Ah, I agree. She's with it. Thumbs up to 9.5. Yeah, uh, at this atmosphere right here is definitely, this place is a solid 9.5. We were told that there wasn't great, um, oh, Cowan's giving me his ice cream, there wasn't great um, food in SeaWorld. Uh, but this place really is good. So if you can, slightly, not expensive because you're paying for the, the um, atmosphere, but more expensive than, yeah. Sliders, $33. The chicken tenders, there was two, just two chicken tenders, they were $15, weren't they? Um, the kids' meals, I think, were they? Do you remember how much they were? $15 as well each. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's been a good meal, so I'd recommend it. Good ice cream. Good restaurant, wasn't it? Really nice. So anyway, we left the meal, really good meal. Um, and then we came out and it was a bit wet out here, so it obviously did storm. It isn't raining, it's like drizzle, but it's stopped now. Um, yeah, it was honestly, we couldn't have timed that any better. And now we're leaving, all the rides are still down and all the attractions are still down due to the, the weather. So we decided we're gonna leave now, aren't we? We're gonna go to Animal Kingdom. Because it's been amazing, it's been a really good day. Slightly different, weather's probably helped. Been... So, as I said earlier in the vlog, this is the quiet room. That, um, there's one of two. Um, as you can see. Nice and chilled out. Um, not much in here really, but yeah. Oh, Paige is happy. And it is a room too. It like is just out. a very chilled out, quiet yeah. room. Great day. Me too. We left uh, SeaWorld and on the way to uh, Animal Kingdom, we didn't know this, but on the way to Animal Kingdom, Sarah said to me, we've got Magic Kingdom book and booked and we thought the procedure was to go to Magic Kingdom, touch our band in and then we'd have to leave Magic Kingdom to go to Animal Kingdom. We didn't know and then Sarah then found out you could then cancel it online and then rebook it so it all worked out. In true fashion, we got stuck on the I-4 for about half an hour and we were waiting and I, and I was saying to her, this, this place, this Dino Bites, closes in literally, what, at 7 p.m. it closes. So I've just ran here to grab it and I've got it here now. Um, but yeah, this is the place. It's six dollars for a, basically a, a coffee, a cold brew float. And it's from Dino Bites Snacks in um, Dino Land in Animal Kingdom and it is really good really good um, it's cooled down now so it's even nicer but I can imagine on a on a hot day that would be really refreshing genuinely that coffee cold brew ice cream float from Animal Kingdom Dino Bites Dino Land 10 out of 10 worth the run really good mm. really good I'm not sure if this is a Mike's random tangent tip of the day or not really you can be the judge that one but we got to Animal Kingdom just after about 20 past six, wasn't it? Yes. We got to Animal Kingdom about 20 past six and we were like, oh, it's a bit rubbish. We're only staying a couple of hours, so we're gonna have to pay parking, $25. As we got to the parking, all the booths were closed and it was literally just drive on. When we got through there, it was literally just follow it until you get to preferred parking. So we got to the very front. After 6 p.m., we thought, oh, it must be free parking. We've just Googled it. It doesn't say anything, does it, sir? So. It'd be good, well, maybe you guys know, so comment down below. Is it free parking after 6 p.m. or at any time? Because on Google it says it isn't, but there was definitely nobody there to charge for parking and all the parking was open. So yeah, if you are coming late for any anything, basically, gamble it, I guess. Yeah, this is much better. So that concludes day 12 of our <laughs> Babies Do Disney vlog series, uh, Orlando vlog series, sorry. Um, 
So, as you can probably tell, it is raining in Animal Kingdom. Did we do much? I no. got a coffee. Well, I got a coffee. You got a stitch jumper. You got a new magic, magic band. band, a Junie and Burke limited edition one. Me and, and my mother did um, Everest, which yeah. we were luckily able to be the last Because as soon as so they got off it, it closed. Thunder. <laughs> you telling a story, all right? I'm sorry, me go go on. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what did we do today? We went to SeaWorld. Got very wet. Yeah, got very wet. <laughs> um, then went to Animal Kingdom in the evening. What was your highlight of the day, Callum? Mine was either getting my stitch jumper or going on the free Which rides. were Mako, Kraken and... Icebreaker. Icebreaker. My favourite was probably Kraken. Icebreaker was my least favourite. Yeah, I went on Mako. Wouldn't do it again. Mako was incredible. Wow. <laughs> what was your highlight of the day, Sarah? Um, Probably just a new right? magic band. New magic band, yeah. We'll um, try and get a picture of that tomorrow or a video of it, definitely. Paige, what's your highlight of the day, baby? I'm seeing the dolphins and spending time with my family. I love you, baby. Oh. And also um, the killer whale. Killer whale and the dolphin, she loved that. And um, also spending time with my family. And spending time with family. We love spending time with you as well, Paige, don't we? Yes. Um, my highlight of the day is definitely trying that coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm so, so glad I found coffee. it. I only got 15 minutes to get it, so it closed at seven. I got it in there just in time, and it was so good. So we, thank you, you know for the anyone. Re the real reason why we're in these right now? What? Because Bruno came in. Because Bruno came in. Um, you need to get in the frame, I think, mate. I don't know if they can see you. But yeah, the coffee was good. The day was brilliant. The weather was amazing <laughs> until, uh, until, until now, which, yeah, <laughs> hey, it's such as life. going to be burning hot tomorrow. Tom and tomorrow, nice. hopefully, which is Callum's birthday. birthday. Woo! Woo! So day 13, Callum's birthday. Uh, we're off to Hollywood Studios. Big 14. Big 14. I uh, don't know what the other plans are, but we'll update you on the next vlog. We but might yeah, come here again. To maybe. We want to see Pandora at night, don't we? But yeah. I'm not in the rain. <laughs> not in the rain. But yeah, tomorrow, uh, the next vlog episode will be Hollywood Studios, that'll be day 13. But guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you thought of it. Thank you guys, really do appreciate it. Bye. 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 Hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.